Non-duality is a hoax. Let me explain. Before we can ever even get into the idea of non-duality, we have to first begin to try to at least wrap our heads around duality and what duality actually is. Duality, as biblically seen, is born in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You have the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. You have good and evil, right and wrong. This moral uh, responsibility, if you will, and this entire uh, uh, philosophy is kind of born of duality, is born in the sense of a perceptional perceptional reality in other words we view everything through our moral belief structure or system and we perceive that moral belief structure or system from the outside in and therefore whatever actions take place this is what is judged the action is always judged as opposed to the inner reality this is the reason why jesus said if you lust with a woman in your heart you're guilty of adultery or if you look upon a man with anger you're guilty of murder because it's the inner reality that then ultimately directly manifests in an outer reality. And instead of the outer reality just being continually judged, we don't see according to the heart. So if somebody murders somebody, we go, you're a murderer, instead of recognizing the inner reality, what their, truly, what their true reality is, is perfect. It's an I am expression. And the reason why we know it's an I am expression is because they are manifesting. The only time you're not an I am expression is if you don't manifest. Everything brings forth life according to its kind. This tree here is bringing forth life according to its kind. And as are you. And you as a divine being don't just bring forth life according to your kind through your seed in the sense of sons and daughters, uh, offspring, but you bring forth according to every single thought. As a man thinketh, so is he. And that is the I am nature that both kills and gives life, that is the resurrector and the taker of life. And the reason why we would refer to it that way is because according to your consciousness, you manifest. Whatever your consciousness of good, bad, or indifferent, you're going to manifest. So now that we understand what duality is, it's this idea of good and evil, right and wrong, according to a perceptional reality. When we think non-duality, we think, okay, we're moving away from that duality. There's duality and then there's non-duality. Non-duality is the tree of life. But non-duality actually isn't the tree of life because it first is recognizing duality as something that is tangible or something that's real in the sense of um, permanent, a permanent reality, an eternal reality. And it's not. Uh, not. Duality is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with this duality. The tree and me. This is a dual world. Green and brown. Um, up and down. Uh, hot and cold. These are all dualities. And duality is part of expression and that's what makes this world beautiful but there's this beautiful thing called a singular duality in that we are all that thing that is manifesting a singular essence that's manifesting in this dual world that's what's real that's called singularity not non-duality non-duality is this is is people that teach non-duality are actually and I've used the term before many times but it's just to communicate something and unfortunately, I don't want to use that term anymore because that term is ultimately communicating this idea that there's duality and then there's non-duality. If you believe in duality, you're wrong. And let's just refer to it from now on as singularity. Singularity is what I want to talk about. Now, again, I've used the word, the term non-duality because that's what people have heard. I'm using the term non-duality here in this video to talk to you or to communicate a point. That's it. It's just a word, it's just a phrase, just a term. Nothing wrong with duality. Nothing wrong with the term non-duality. Nothing wrong with the term singularity. There's nothing wrong or right. These are just terms used to communicate some a truth, um, to communicate something. And and again, that is part communication is part of the dual world. And this, this is incredible, dude. This is absolutely incredible. And so I just want you to see right now how beautifully singular this world is. We are one singular essence manifesting in the universe. You are not small. You are the universe in manifestation. You are the, the force, the chi, the prana, the life, the spirit, the ruach, the panuma, that is the life that is giving birth, that is giving um, a life to every living thing, to every manifestation, to every thing from this tree behind me to the, the gravels in my driveway, to the cat, to Tigger back there, right there, Tigger. 
And so we are this life. And I want to encourage you to invest your time instead of thinking in terms of duality and non-duality. To invest your time, your energy, your your life, your manifestation in the pursuit of singularity, in the the sinking into, if you will, the singular life that is what I call the Christ life. I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more we awaken to these realities, the truth, the ultimate reality, the more we play in this beautiful world. Thank you.